This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Today is Tuesday morning, and I've just done a night out in the truck. I'm actually just I'm updating my tablet, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've just done a night out in the truck. Um, we are at Sutton Scotley Services southbound. We've got to go to Southampton this morning. Um, so I've not long woken up. I've literally just got dressed. We need to go um, outside, do our checks, warm the engine up, blah, blah, blah. And then we can crack on with the day. So um, yeah, let's get a move on. Let's start by opening up the curtains. Oh, I also need to set up my GoPro as well. Hello world. Oh, before anyone says, yeah, I am parked in the coach bay. I'm sorry, coach drivers. Don't be mad. There was no space and I needed somewhere to park up for the night. Oh. I might struggle getting out of that truck there. Anyway, let's go do some checks. Right, that's the GoPros set up, ready for the day. Um, heating is on 23 degrees, so it's nice and warm in here. And uh, we recently got a new battery put on as well, so it's going to be a lot of red signs because we've got no air. But uh, batteries are eighty-one percent, so fingers crossed it should start. <laughs> nice. Right, let that build the air up. Let's put the build the revs up. There we go. Let that build the air up, and um, we're going to do some checks. Is that need de-icing on the inside or outside? Now that's the inside condensation. So let's put that on high and get the window cleaned as well. Right, let's go outside do some checks. Yeah, it all seems to be good. My main worry at the moment is that I've reversed into this space, so I didn't need to reverse out. And uh, I got a truck next to me there. And the truck, that truck's parked up for the night, and that might be an issue getting out in a second. We'll give it a go, but if it's an issue, I'm going to have to knock on the door and wake him up. He's parked opposite of A, so. Yes. Check the back. All oh, the wheels look okay. And uh, all the lights are on the back of the trailer as well. Gravy baby. So we're looking good. We've got a buckle undone there, so we do that up. I suppose we better check inside as well. There we go. Just turn my torch on on my phone. You can't really see, but. We're uh, fully loaded with roofing tiles. They are strapped up. You can see uh, there's a strap going over there. Look. So they're all strapped up properly. Uh, and that's going to Stig Roofing in Southampton. Uh, it's where we're going to be making our way to in a second. So yeah, all good. Let's close that door back up. Lovely, lovely. Right, let's get back in that truck. Right, windscreen is now clear. Let's also put that top light on, or should we do that one? Yeah, that one's better. Phone in the windscreen. We need to reset our suspension level. We we're on a slight hill, so I lowered it last night, so we we're more even. Even then, it wasn't great. Hazards off. Right, let's see if we can get out of here then. So with that lorry parked in front, it's... Um, not made it very ideal, but well, it might be okay. I've got a bit of a swing available. Yeah, we're okay. There's a car coming, I'm gonna let the car come first. Okay, it's reversing. Yeah, loads of room. Loads of room, clear on the left, clear on the right. Yeah. 
Loads of room. Thought I heard a hissing noise. Oh look, there's a coach in the HGV bay. So yeah, it's allowed. <laughs> there was space there as well. Yeah, so we're all good, check's done. And we're now making our way on to the road. Let's get ourselves onto this draw carriageway. Windows are going up because it's uh, too noisy. I just realised the lights turned off. Anyway, so that is um, that is us off for the day. So I'm going to crack on. I'll see you at Southampton. Uh, we should be there about eight o'clock. Flash that truck in. Um, so yeah, we're only half an hour away from uh, from my delivery point. I shall see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, we are at the end of the M271, about to join on to whatever road it is. I don't actually know what it's called, A35 or something. And uh, that'll take us basically to the Southampton Dock. So we've got to turn around at the roundabout, come back on ourselves, and then take a left. There's a Salco Builders Merchants there. I used to deliver there all the time. Um, I think we've got to go past it, actually. Um, and then take a right, and then Sig Roofing is down there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this road layout is a bit rubbish, isn't it? It got vehicles merging into lane two over these lines. I think they're supposed to wait until they get here. And then vehicles from lane two are coming over into this lane as well. Yeah. Anyway, there's Salco Builders Merchants. So we've delivered there a few times. It's on the right hand side. We'll, uh, we've got to go up there and go past it, I think. Or we're going in a different way. We might be going... Oh, yeah, I think we're going in a different way. Makes sense. So we won't be going past it directly. For cleaner air, car share. Yes. Now, mate. Jesus. That lorry nearly hit me. I could see him. I just had to move out of the way because he was going to be very close to me. Oh my gosh. I was watching him on my mirror and I, I could see he was like aiming at me pretty much. That was close, man. I could see, <laughs> I could see that he was gonna hit me if I didn't move, I just moved. I thought he was gonna clip my wing mirror then. Bloody hell, mate. Pay attention. If I didn't move, he would have hit me. I'd be interested to see a, like a replay because the GoPro might have caught that. Sorry. I. I could see that happening. Right. <laughs> Bloody drivers. Go down here, we need to turn right at the roundabouts. Right. Let's go around this roundabout, don't change. Harley Davidson over there. Yep, I see it. We've got lots of cars queuing up on this roundabout, so we're gonna have to come to a stop maybe if the lights don't change. All the way around, I think we want this lane now. <coughs> okay, so this road up ahead bends around to the left, and then immediately right is where Selco is, is a dead end. But uh, obviously, we're not going down that way. But I think we might be reversing out down there potentially. Might, it might be a case I got reversed back around this corner. I'm not sure. I don't know where they tip me. It looks like I might be reversing in. I'm not sure. I need to go speak to someone and find out. So, be right back. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, maneuvering and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions 
and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The essential new Trucker's Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, to give you a bit of an updated situation of what's happening, so I've been asked to drive in. My cab's actually inside a little bit. Uh, I've undone the curtains. I've now just got to take all the straps off and then uh, they can start unloading me. And then obviously to get back out, it's going to be a case of just coming out of that unit a little bit and then literally jackknife in the truck. Got plenty of space this side. Get the trailer turned around and then we'll just drive back off down there, look out of the way. Anyway, let's get these uh, straps off. So we've got 24 pallets on at the moment. Actually, I know where I'm going from here as well. Normally, I wouldn't know where I'm going until until I got here and I sent a text to the boss, but I actually only knew last night. I'm going to Lapland, baby. Right, all my straps are off, corner boards are off, ratchet straps are off. We've just got to put that back in there. There we go. So, uh, yeah, they can now unload me, which is good. It was right last night because um, I was parked at services. Um, so if I needed to go to the toilet, I could. But I do often get asked, what do I do with regards to the toilet situation? Well, just so happens, I need a wee. And I've asked the guys here if they have a toilet. And they said yes. So yeah, I'm now on my way to the toilet. White wall, red door. So yeah, as long as you can go a few hours, then uh, you're absolutely fine. If you can go a few days, even better. Um, but just take the most of the opportunity while you can. It's the only advice I can really give you. And there she is. Yeah, cut inside of work is annoying because like, I could just jump straight back in the truck now if I was on a flatbed. Jump straight in, not have to worry about having to close curtains, put the destination into the sat nav where we're going next and crack on. But I can't do that. I've got to mess around with the poles and move the curtains and blah, blah, blah. It's annoying. <laughs> 100%. 100% prefer flatbed work. Oh my god. No question about it. If if I ever get my own truck and trailer, it'd be a flatbed. Even if that means taking on less work because I just I prefer the flatbed work. I think it aesthetically it looks better for photographs, which obviously doing social media is good for me. And uh you haven't got to worry about wind. When it's really windy, you can barely close the curtain trailers. <laughs> Uh, it's just, oh, it's just so much easier. Flatbed all the way. All right, we're getting there. Slowly coming off. This side's nearly done. Three more to come off this side. I think we've got five the other side. Do the curtains up, then we can back on out and crack on to, uh, to Lapland. Okay, this side is now done. So we can close the curtain up, put the pole back. Nearly there. I have a pigeon in my trailer. <laughs> Where'd he go? Matrix. Here we go then, one more to come off. One more pallet to come off, and then we can uh, do the curtain up and crack on. We're not doing too bad for time. It's nine o'clock currently. We've got here just after eight o'clock. I imagine we're gonna leave just after nine o'clock, so. Uh, one hour, not too bad, not too shabby. Right, paperwork done. Curtains closed. I don't think anyone's watching me out. No one has said anything about doing it. So we mainly just go out very slowly. Right, let's put the destination into the sat nav. So we are going to, um, where are we going? Lapland is where we're going. SL5. Eight B D. That is the postcode. Yeah, looks familiar. Looks about right. Right, take me there, please. Lovely. All right, get the old engine on. Yeah, I don't think anyone's watching me back, so I'm gonna have to go out very slowly, and then. Um, Pretty much got a jackknife out as well. 
nothing coming that way. As soon as we're clear, get the truck jackknifed. Lovely. Lovely. Mind the fence on the left. There we go. Turn it around a bit more. Jobs are good in. Off we go. Easy as that. Easy as pie. Right. Um, I want to take my high vis off actually. Let them go. There's a car behind me. Ugh, yeah, just want to take my high vis off. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Looks like the sun might be out. Clear to the left. Clear to the right. Clearish to the right. The trailer's going to take up a bit of room, mate. You're going to keep coming. I'm going to slow down. There we go. The car didn't understand the trailer was going to take up some of his room, so I've come to a stop, so uh, it's not my fault if we do hit. <laughs> but also, it's, it made him think, oh, crap, yeah, I realise now. Uh, maybe I should have slowed down. So we're going to take a left down here. Give the windscreen a little bit of a wash as well. Lovely jubbly, and then we'll be joining straight back up to the uh, the drill carriageway that brought us in to Southampton, and then we come straight back off again to go onto the uh, the M27. That's the one. No, M271. Then it then it takes you to the M27. That's the badger. Um, yeah, it's one of them. I try to remember, like. <laughs> The older generation drivers but like, oh, I just follow your sat nav. No, I tend to know my roads a little bit. I'm not an expert, but, uh, you know, I do know them to a degree. <laughs> um, and I think every driver should as well, really. Like, not just put your postcode in into a sat nav and then just blindly follow it. You need to know your roads, definitely. And also, this might sound silly, but you need to know your north, east, south and west. <laughs> that is quite important. Because I'll be honest, I didn't really know my north, east, south, west when I started. In terms of, you know, the motorways, uh, which motorways went in which direction is what I mean. Uh, I do, obviously I know where north, east, south, west is, but I don't know, I didn't know at the time. Like the M5, for example, I didn't know that was like north, south. Not really. So, yeah. Learn your motorways, learn your railroads and learn which direction they go in because the road it say like m271n for north uh or s for south and if you don't know which direction you're heading in then you don't know which lane to be in so things like that that's that's what you need to learn anyway we're going to crack on we're only just over an hour away i need to give the guy a call as well we're going to pick up from uh his name is phil let him know my eta and then we'll go from there see you in a bit Right, we are on the home straight now to Lapland, UK, which is situated in these forests. Woo! <laughs> anyway, right, we're just around the corner. Um, last time we come here, we were on the flatbed and we delivered um, disabled toilets, which have a ramp going up. Um, obviously, the ramp then comes down so the wheelchair can, can roll up. Uh, we can't get those disabled toilets in this trailer, so we're not going to be picking up what we dropped off. So... What exactly we're picking up, I do not know. I'm going to assume it's just three white pods, if I were to guess. Um, but we'll find out when we get there. We're just around the corner. Just over half a mile away, and we shall be there. We've got to go over the, over the bridge, train track bridge. Uh, and then it's on the left. Now, I did speak to Phil earlier, and he said, is, they're loading me, not where I was loaded last time, but go round on the right. <laughs> Uh, so I can think of two places where he means there. I'm not, I can't, I'm not 100% sure which one he, he, he means, but we'll find out. That car is stopping, thank you very much. That car used their brain, realised I was going to need their lane lap, and then stopped. 
But a tipper driver has been following us for quite a while behind us. Ba, ba, ba. Hi, mate. Hi. Yes. Going, yeah. yeah, well, roughly, yeah, I've got a, a Phil PTL. Yeah. So down there, he said somewhere on the right. Go down there, pull up. I'll let know you. Sweet, thank you. Cheers, mate. Yeah, when we come here last time, none of these cars were here or anything. This car park wasn't here. I don't know whether he wants to be down there. Not sure. So I want to say we're going down there. Last time we come here, we tipped um, literally right in front of us. And I want to say this time we're going up here. I've been up here before, the year before last. So turn right, pull up on the left. That is what he just said as well. So we're going to pull up somewhere down here. And then we, I think we turn right. It's like crossroads. We turn right and um, get loaded up there, I think. I like you see all the, the grottos, look. I guess that's cool. <laughs> I'll zoom in on my phone. There we go, look, Santa's grottos. Lapland, UK. Um, we'll go forward a bit more, just in case anyone else comes up behind us. Ah, uh, we're taking these, I think, right next to me. They're going to Basingstoke, yes. So, I don't think you can see on camera. These are the posh toilets, um, and we tend to do them up by doing them up on the bottom. But, um, yeah, so we might actually be loaded where we are. I think. Yeah, we'll wait for Phil to come and then we'll uh, we'll go where we need to go. Right, anyway, I'll uh, see you in a bit once we know where exactly we're tipping. But yeah, I do think I do think it's going to be here. Uh... Right, engine on. We are loaded. Sorry, I um I didn't get any footage of me being loaded because um one person was loading it with the uh, teleander and one person was talking to me uh, next to the truck. So. I didn't, didn't get a chance to do any filming, but we are fully loaded and we've got to take this to Basingstoke. Should be there just after 12, well, 20 past 12, maybe half past 12, depends on traffic. Got to go spin around. See you in a bit. I've got to come back down here in a minute. I think up here you turn right and then there's space to spin around. I could reverse, but why risk it? We'll just do a spin a Rooney down here somewhere. Where that uh, lorry's coming out of. Can I do it here? It's a bit tight to do it here. Oh my gosh, look at all the Christmas trees. Right, got to go back now. Some of these are netted up, so I guess they're, uh, I presume they're going to be like recycled or something. I don't know, but they're <laughs> obviously all the trees that are used. And out we go. Lovely. Be careful what this Teleander's doing. I do have my beacons on, so um, they should be able to see me coming. Yeah. 
I need my sunglasses, that sun is out down here. <laughs> I have a little cheesy horn on. I, um, <laughs> I forgot about that. I had my um, cheesy horn on because last night I was watching my tablet at the services and I accidentally pressed it. I was trying to clean my tablet screen. I pressed the horn too loud and it made the, the loud horn go off in the services. It was only like quarter six, but it's still like <laughs> late enough. So I thought, ah, I'll turn off the main horn just in case it does that again. <laughs> I think the reason why we can't go out the way we just went, where we spun around, is because the corner's too tight or something. You come out here on the left, and where they put this portal cabin, you can't quite swing an arctic round in time. So, because we were literally just over there by those trees. So you can't, you can't come out that way, so you've got to spin around and come this way. He's giving me the thumbs up. Out we go. Clear left, not clear right. Still clear left, clear right, let's go. It's where something comes over the bridge and then realises you're taking up the whole road. I'll leave my beacons on for now, just as we get over this bridge. Yeah, all good, beacons off. And uh, yeah, we're only 30 eight minutes so 40 minutes away pretty much from Basin Soak so it won't take us too long to get there we'll be there pretty soon so we're going to crack on get over there and then once we're tipped I've got no idea what we're doing next if I had to guess I would say it's go to Tetbury and get reloaded for the morning if I were to guess but there's still uh, still quite a bit of time left in the day and I could be sent anywhere to do anything I really don't know, so we just have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I shall see you at Basingstoke. Right, we are in Basingstoke, and uh, we are just undoing the straps so we can take them off. Right, and before I forget, just had a bloke come over to me, and he said, uh, all the times I'm coming, he only lives across the road. He's never actually come and said hello, but he watches the videos. And uh, he's come over to me and uh, said hello. Dave Thomas, if you're watching, thanks for watching, mate. I do appreciate it. I uh, forgot to tell you, I actually am recording today, but uh, I'm just trying to get all the curtains open first. All right, there's the sinks. We've unstrapped them. What we do is we put straps under the bottom. They don't like them going over the top. So um, we put straps through the bottom and we angle them. And they go all the way through and that's how we secure them but yeah that's done just waiting for them now to take them all off There's that big uh, white one on the back needs to go into that unit or something so that's why they got to do both sides but yeah anyway yeah cheers dave for uh coming over and saying hello like i said sorry i, I should have said i was recording today but just need to get these curtains open so we can crack on with the next day uh, with the next job sorry which i'm waiting to find out what is happening what is next um, but the sooner we get these cans open, the sooner we can get offloaded. Right, we're nearly done here now. Uh, I've got one or two more left to come off on the other side. I'm going to crack on. I've just been told what we're doing next. We're going to go to Sainsbury's, get loaded with pallets, uh, check pallets. It's not going to check, it's going to place in Shaftesbury, some milk place, I don't know. Looks like it's down in a housing estate, no joke. Um, time is against us, so I'm just going to crack on. Uh, so I might film a little bit when we get loaded with pallets. And then, uh, then after that, I see you in Shaftesbury. See in a bit. Right, as you can see, pallets are going on now. They're being a bit, a bit strict. Got to take my keys, etc., for health and safety. Um, I'm half expecting them to tell me to go into the canteen for health and safety as well. There are, there are other drivers in there, but then they are drivers on the bay, and we're not on the bay. We're doing a side tip, so he does have my keys. <laughs> So, anyway, I've left one curtain shut because it's too windy. If you open up both curtains, the curtains just go everywhere. So, keeping one shut, that means when this side is done, I can move the curtain over and it's going to be a bit easier to move. If anyone says, I've got to open it, I say, you took my keys, health and safety, 
I only do one curtain, health and safety. My health and safety. So, yeah. See what they say to that. <laughs> right, we are about five minutes away from Shaftesbury um, and our delivery point. So it's going to make our way there. Gonna, we're going up this hill. This is the A350. Um, yeah. So I was just thinking to myself then, I'm sure there's a place somewhere around here where it's like almost like a one-way system and trucks aren't allowed to go down. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't have to go down that road. I don't think so. Do, do, do. This lorry is turning right. We've actually done quite a bit of work today. Um, so we, we've done one delivery this morning in Southampton. Then we picked up a collection at Ascot, delivered that to Basingstoke, reloaded in Basingstoke, transport is it? Uh, no, I've been to that one. And then, so now we're doing our third delivery. So we've already today, and in this video, we've done two collections and three deliveries, um, which is which is already a busy day. That's quite a lot of quite a lot of work, and it's like half past three in the afternoon. Um, we've done quite well for ourselves. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going from here. Um, yeah, it could be anywhere. <laughs> so again, it could be back back to the yard. It could be to Tetbury. I don't know. It could be anywhere. Um, or it could be somewhere entirely different, somewhere else down here, no idea. Um, but I would have thought there's a very good chance that wherever I'm going next, unless it's Chep in Swindon, we probably won't be getting loaded today, but that's not a guarantee. Dominoes! Right. Uh, yeah, so it's already getting interesting. I don't think this is the snug bit either. What is that lorry doing? Are you coming or what? I flashed her. I've let that lorry out so then these cars can stay here where he was. There we go. Put lift on the road by the looks of it. Okay, we want to take a left here. Like this all looks very much industrial-like at the moment and not residential, but it's about to change because this is where it starts getting residential. He's already given me a bit of a dirty look behind that car. So the school is down here on the left. Looks like um, it looks like it's going to be okay. Look, there's hardly any cars here. Yeah, so this was the bit I thought was going to be hard. Well, not hard, but interesting. But it's all clear. I want to take a left down here. We're going to the dairy. Lovely. Roadworks. Oh, that was a big bump. Do these roadworks make the road even tighter? Nah, we look okay. It's, don't, it don't, it's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, apart from the road's a bit bumpy. Um, yeah, easy peasy. Just go down here, take a right, and then Maria. That was easy enough. Housing, new housing being built there, look. Make sure it's clear on the way in. It is single track lane, pretty much. And I can already see blue pallets, so we're probably gonna have to stop somewhere there. It's where that van is. <laughs> is it actually stopping me from getting in? No, we should be okay. No idea who we see. Looks like they're gonna tip one side then tip the other side potentially. Right, we are being tipped. It's hard to explain. Wow, it's not hard. So we come in, we parked up where we parked up where you last saw me. I undone the driver's side of the curtain. They tipped all of that. I've then gone, 
driven round the corner, spun round, come back. So now we are parked where we were when you last saw me, but facing the other direction. So now the other side is being done. Um, I'm out of breath because it's so quick. He's done that in about two minutes. We turned up at 25 past three or something. I don't even know what time it is right now. Uh, but I'll tell you when we're actually done. Anyway, I've got to do this cut now. Actually, I'll start from the back. There we go. And it's starting to get cold as well. So, hoodie on, no longer in shorts. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Happy New Year, if you watch this video. This is my first video of the new year. Um, it's Tuesday, I don't know, the 7th or something? <laughs> something like that. Anyway, let's get it on the other side. 9th, it's Tuesday the 9th. That's the time, uh, the date. Oh, honestly, this guy is so quick. <laughs> I come around the other side and uh, He'd already tipped it all, I needed to move the curtain back, so we've only got four more left to go now. Right, last one. The van's just gone as well, so that's good. Mate, we've been here like 10 minutes tops. Right. Tipped. Um, my watch has died. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 10 to 4. We turned up, I think it was like half past 4, so I think we turned up. 20 minutes. Fully tipped. In 20 minutes. Lovely. So we've got to get a move on because there's uh, a lorry behind me waiting to get out as well. That van is stopped there. Can I get past? I think I can get, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking if I could get past. There's plenty of room to get past. Um, oh, mate, that was rapid. We were, like I said, we've been in there for 20 minutes total, and that's including me undoing and doing up curtains um, and moving backwards and forwards and getting in the vehicle, driving down, spinning around and coming back. It was go, go, go. I can't, like, explain to you just how go, go, go that was. That was full on. <laughs> I had no time to record anything hardly. What you've seen is literally all I could do. Um, but yeah, no, it's good, man. It's good. I like it when it's like that. We've had a very productive day today. Very productive day. So that's three deliveries, two collections. And what are we doing next, I hear you ask? I'm going to go slow over this because I didn't on the way in and it was a big bump. We're now going back to the yard. ETA back to the yard is 20 to 6. Um, so it's not like a mega early finish. It would definitely be dark by the time I get back. And, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, ugh, hour and 45 minutes away. Can we actually do that? Yeah, we can. I was just checking my driving time then to make sure I actually had enough driving time to get there without having a break. And, uh, and we can. We, uh, we managed to get a break in at Sainsbury's waiting to be loaded. So, uh, yes. Yeah, if you follow, obviously this is this is the A350, if you follow this all the way north, it will take you up Trowbridge, Chippenham Way. But we don't want to go Chippenham, we want to go Swindon, which is more to the right-hand side. So I think we'll get to the A303, go east on the A303, and we'll probably come up at Tidworth, go north on Tidworth, uh, and that'll take us literally all the way then to Junction 15, which is Swindon. I think that is the way we will go. It saves going through all the... Town, well, we're going to go through towns regardless, aren't we? So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. We're going to go through towns regardless, but I think if we can get, oh, I've got Stonehenge to deal with as well. That's the problem. Getting, we we just went past Stonehenge to get here, and it was quiet. It's going to. Uh, I reckon we can get past Stonehenge before five o'clock. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all going to be okay. <laughs> we'll see. I might see you at Stonehenge. See how, see what the traffic looks like. <laughs> well, I'm going to crack on. Next time you see me, either be Stonehenge or dark <laughs> in the yard, one or the other. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've literally just gone past Stonehenge. <laughs> I was, we've been flat out the whole way that um, I didn't even think about turning my GoPros on. Like, 
we completely bl blasted past Stonehenge. So sorry if you wanted to see it. Um, yeah, we've gone past it. We didn't slow down at all. Oncoming vehicles slow down a little bit, but I just didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> it was there on the left. I just drove straight past it. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, Stonehenge is coming up, surely. And I was like, ah, it's behind me. I can sit in my mirror. <laughs> so yes, it's um, we passed Stonehenge. Uh, traffic is, is light currently. It's currently half past four in the afternoon. It is starting to get dark, but have you noticed that it's it's getting later and later again now when it's dark, like it's half past four, and it's still just about light. Whereas a few weeks ago, it'd be pitch black come four o'clock. Um, yeah, no, it's really good. I'm, I'm, I can't wait for the late nights again. I, I, I don't like driving in the dark. I really don't. And obviously in, in my line of work, you've got to do some driving in the dark. We're going to crack on back to the yard. It will be dark by the time I get there, and I will see you uh, when we get there. See you in a bit. Okay, that it is it. We're in the yard. It is just gone half past five. I think it's more like 20 to 6 now. Just been speaking to Kieran. We're part there, ready for the morning. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I ain't got to start tomorrow until like half past six or something. So, got quite a nice little lay in. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Like I said, been a busy day today. Southampton, Deliver, Low Pace and Stoke, but Lapland. No, it was Ascot, Lapland. Then Deliver to Bays and Stoke, then Low Bays and Stoke, Sainsbury's, Deliver to Shaftesbury. So, yeah, three deliveries, two collections. Been a good day. Anyway, I've been Luke C and HTV. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my second channel, More Luke C. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Drive safe, stay safe. See you soon. Bye bye.